Using the spinner below, what is the probability of landing on an odd? To find the probability of an event, we compare the favorable number of outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So for the probability of spinning an odd, let's first determine the total number of outcomes. Well, looking at our spinner, notice how it's divided into eight equal sized sections, each section numbered from one through eight, and therefore there are eight total possible outcomes. And now we'll consider the favorable number of outcomes, which would be the sections with odd numbers, and therefore one is favorable because one is odd, three is favorable because three is odd, five is odd, so five is favorable, and so is seven. Seven is odd, so seven is favorable. These are the favorable outcomes Notice how there are one, two, three, four favorable outcomes. Which means the probability of spinning an odd is four eighths, but this does simplify, there's a common factor of four, four eighths simplifies to one half. So the probability of spinning an odd is one half, but probability is often expressed as a decimal and a percentage, so let's also show that. We should recognize that one half is equivalent to 0.5 or 5 tenths. If we didn't recognize this, of course, we could divide one divided by two equals 0.5. To convert to a percentage, we would multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point to the right two places and add a percent sign, which would give us 50 percent. So if the probability of spinning an odd is one half. This means theoretically, we expect to roll an odd number one time out of every two spins. Having a probability of 50 percent means we expect to land on an odd 50 percent of the time or 50 times out of 100 spins. I hope you found this helpful.